What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today of course it is time for the next random pack opening. So yeah, just like the other openings, we're going to choose uh, 10 more packs, open them up, and uh, see what we get. Hopefully we have some amazing luck. I still have, what, two episodes worth of uh, openings for you guys, so uh, you know what? Let's actually just open up all these for this video. How about that? You know, instead of just separating these, I'm just going to open up all 20 of these packs in one video. How about that for a pretty good surprise? And uh, let's see what we get, because... Uh, I hope we can end with some amazing luck. And also, be sure to hit that like button if you want to see more random pack openings in the future. So, let's go on ahead and get to it. I was thinking, you know what, we'll just do that. Since it's 20 left, is that making you guys wait an extra week? Be kind of like a bigger opening video. Well, first off, we actually got one of the Dragon Rulers. That's not bad. Uh, let's see, it is Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos. So, pretty good rare. Um, yeah, we'll have to kind of make room as we go. <laughs> I might have to organize as we're going. Duelist Pack Yugi. Oh, we got Red Gadget, Brain Control, Stronghold, and Exchange for our rare. Legacy of the Valiant. Need to get a, what, Shared Ride? Isn't that the secret rare that's in this one that's getting some hype? I think so. That'd be pretty cool. Have uh, Bujingi Peacock. And, well, we did get a hollow. Okay, finally, man. <laughs> it's taken a while to get a hollow from Pack Not Guaranteed one, right? Uh, this one is a True Bime, uh, Princess of Autumn Leaves. So there we go. All right, now I feel a little bit better. We got a hollow at least. It's one I haven't seen in quite a while either. Order of Chaos. Sector Centipede. Not bad. Get some of those Insector cards. Then we have, well, Insector Hopper for our rare. Right. Ancient Prophecy. I guess I'm just going to go through the line on that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe since it's a random pack opening, I'll just open them up, you know, in weird order, too. We'll see. All right. Come on, Ancient Prophecy. Help me out here. Well, we have Magic Cat for our rare. And, aw. Oh. I've had good luck with this set, so I really can't complain too much. Photon Shockwave. Come on, Galaxy Eyes. I'm hoping one of these will finally have a Galaxy Eyes for us, just because. That would be pretty amazing. Wind Up Warrior. And let's see, we have Photon Cerberus and a Light Serpent. Okay, well, at least we got a hollow from that. That's not bad. It's, it's better than nothing, okay? We, we've gotten to that point, yes. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's not bad. I'll take it. Clash of Rebellions. Now we can hope for some red-eye support. It's possible. Oh, we can focus. Okay, there it goes. Four mage. Oh, we got a few of those, actually. Uh, magical uh, Abductor. And, ah, uh, No red-eyes today. Order of Chaos. Helped us out last time. I thought that card looked cool, because it has, well, Dark Arm Dragon on it, so <laughs> can't go wrong with that. And let's see, we have Evo uh, Instant for our rare, and aw, nothing crazy on that one either. Then Legacy of the Valiant. There we are. Got Brachios. And then we have Ghost Trick uh, Go Round for our rare, and nothing crazy from that one either. Circuit Break. Guaranteed a hollow. This is the one where we have Boar Load. Okay, it has to be this one. I think it's, yeah, it's the last Circuit Break uh, for uh, random pack opening, so let's see. Well, a lot of Crawler monsters. And Alter Guys uh, So Coolest. So yeah, uh, that's actually pretty good again, I guess, right now. Also, we have uh, the Fire King Avatar Ar Arvada. Blech, I can never say it. Uh, Duelist Saga. Everything's holographic from Duelist Saga. We can get some really good cards. Well, starting off really strong already. We got Cyber Dragon. Oh, that's awesome. Then, of course, uh, Sukiyomi. Then we have uh, Cosmic Flare, Fallen Paradise, and Sea Lord's Amulet. 
But yeah, getting Cyber Dragon, that's really good. I can't wait for that new support for Cyber Dragon. That's going to be really awesome. I mean, they <laughs> Konami really wants Cyber Dragons to take over with all that new support they're coming out with. It's, it's seriously crazy. We got a Link Monster, a Fusion, <laughs> so many things. All right, we have uh, Brother of the Fire Fist Buffalo for our rare. Number Hunters. Why not go with that? Everything's holographic in Number Hunters, so we'll see if we get uh, Blue Mountain from this. I think that's the name of it. The Butterfly. Uh, Kage to Kage. Thin Stoic Challenge. Gimmick Puppet Egghead. <laughs> and uh, Chaos 16 Mech Equipped uh, Gen A General. That's got tough to say, but we did get a number uh, 74, Master of Blades. That's actually pretty good. I think we got one of those from one of the previous uh, random pack opening videos. So that used to be the side after card of this set. I don't know if that's really the case anymore, but uh, still a really good number monster you get. So can't really go wrong with that either. Uh, Galactic Overlord. At least out of the packs where we're guaranteed hollows, we're getting some really good cards. First off, we have uh, Photon Pelo Operative for however you say that, the butterfly. So, there you go. <laughs> and we got some of the Heretic Monsters, not bad. Legacy of the Valiant. Yeah, we used up a lot for good luck on previous round pack openings. So, if you guys want to check those out, please do because. We did pretty amazing. I, I think we got all the good packs right at the beginning, to be very honest. Well, we got, uh, this is a good rare, at least. Uh, Leo, the Keeper of the Sacred Tree. And Mighty Work. Dang, I thought for a second maybe we had a hollow. I couldn't remember if there was a hollow uh, synchro or not. But when you see a synchro monster, you automatically think you have something awesome on that. Tachyon Galaxy. More Fire Fist cards. Bachi, bachi, bachi. <laughs> Just that name. Wow. <laughs> we have Go, 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 Gigas. And we got a secret rare. There we go. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the game again, you know? Uh, yeah, we got uh, Brother Fire Fist Coyote. So that is really awesome. I'm glad I got that one. And uh, yeah, it, it proves that we can still get a hollow <laughs> from some of these packs. I was thinking, man, we're just rare, rare after the next one. But you know what? We got a secret rare. So... I'm pretty happy with that. That's awesome. I know it's not like, you know, the toughest one to get or anything, but that's still awesome to get out of a random pack opening like that. That's always cool. I'm never going to complain about getting a secret like that. That is just awesome. So, okay. That makes me feel a lot better. I'm re-energized now. Order of Chaos. What can we possibly get out of the rest of these? Evidently, we still have a little bit of luck left. Uh, Gaga -ga -ga Bolt. Well, Purple Thorny Dragon. Clash of Rebellions. Come on, I still want to get a red ass card from one of these. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, which, which side do we go with? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, well, it's like, I guess, in half, basically. You know what? We'll, we'll do it like this. How about this? All right, so we have Damage Juggler, that's Side Effects, I think that's a short print. Then we have Perform a, well, Perform Pal Salute Tiger, there we are. Then we have Despot number five. After that we have uh, Mandragon, and we did, we got a Red Eyes card. I was hoping, I was like, if you're making me work this hard to go through the packs like that, we're doing like a Pokemon opening with each one, right? <laughs> then I was going to get something awesome. So yeah, I got the fusion for Red Eyes. The new Black Skull Dragon art was new. It's pretty old, I guess, now. Still one of my favorite cards, though. And uh, that is Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. So yeah, that is awesome. I I'm glad that one worked out because I was thinking, man, this is a weird pack. I think that's happened like one other time for us, too. So, we got an Ultra Rare. That's cool. Also, I'm sorry if my voice keeps acting up. I'm still sick while I'm recording these, so forgive me. Chicken game, though. That's not bad, either. I know my voice is cracking and everything. I have some kind of cold or allergy thing. I don't know. It's going on forever. But I wanted to record the rest of the round pack opens either way. So, it was driving me nuts just to have these packs over here. Let's see. Uh, Galactic Overlord. Overlord. 
But I'm, I'm glad we got that, though. That, that definitely made my day right there. Well, let's see. We have uh, Insector Giga Cricket and Evil Tile. Uh, how do you say this? El El Giro. I don't know how you say that, but sure. You know what? It's a super rare. I'll take it. It's one of the Evil Tiles as well. So can't go wrong with that. That's pretty awesome. I'd love to see some kind of new support for them. You know, that'd be pretty neat. Like a new evolution, even. And now we are down to the last pack. All right. What can we, can we end with a hollow? It's the last one for all the random pack openings. Let's see. And by that, I mean last pack for now. If you guys want to see more random pack openings, you know what to do. Badland Boxer Glass Jaw. Bachi Bachi. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Chaos XC, Dark Fairy Cheer Girl, and, oh, unfortunately, we did not end with a hollow on that one. So, yeah, but you know what? I did much better. Uh, with this one, too. I mean, we got a secret rare where we're not guaranteed one. We got an ultra rare. We got a couple of super rares, I believe, too. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we did pretty good towards the end. I'm glad I ended up getting, of course, like I said, a red eyes fusion. I mean, getting the new uh, Black Skull Dragon and a secret rare definitely helped out. And uh, be sure to check out the previous random pack openings if you haven't seen them yet because we had some amazing luck this time. So, actually, uh, right now, I'm going to do a recap. So, let me get everything sorted real quick, and we'll recap all the hollows that we got throughout all these uh, random pack openings. All right, so here's a recap for everything that we got from the random pack opening. Of course, I'm not going to go through all the commons and rares because, yeah, that'd be just crazy. They're kind of the background over there. But, uh, yeah, let's go through all the different hollows that we got and uh, by rarity and everything, too. So, the first stack is, like, from packs where you're guaranteed hollows. So, number hunters, that kind of stuff. Also, I did get a Blue Mountain Butter Spy from one of the Rampack openings. It's not in the stack of cards because I'm actually using it in one of my decks. So, I, I didn't want to have to run out and go get it. So, I just remember I have that too. Yeah, I, I was too lazy to go in and try to go get it. So, I think you guys will be okay with that. But we had some pretty good luck. I mean, out of Dual Saga and everything too, we got some good cards from it. Of course, getting a couple of number 74 as well is really good. Even Dark Law. I, I like that new Ultra Rare look to it. Jinzo, you can't go wrong with that. Gazuki as well, a couple of number monsters, Honest Neos, I mean, that's like the best card to get from Dual Saga right now, at least the time of this video, that could always change. Anything else, Abyss Actors, Trade-In even, that always comes in handy. Anything else, well, some Hidden Arsenal stuff as well, you're seeing like Gishkis and, and Vylons and stuff as well, Dark Lords, a num another number uh, 74, so, like I said, that's good to actually get that one, that used to be the side after card of that set. Anything else that was pretty crazy? Well, a couple more number monsters. Kabuki Dragon. I always thought that looks cool. I mean, I don't think it's, you know, anything crazy. And, oh, God. <laughs> Humpty Grumpty. That just terrifying freaking card. Seriously, who came up with that? <laughs> what sick person at Konami came up with that design, right? Uh, but, yeah, those are the ones where you, like, guarantee different things. Then we have our super rares. So, actually, some pretty good luck on super rares. Well, you can tell we got quite a few cards. Even Light Serpent. I, I think that card looks cool, even though it's nothing crazy. Fiend Sanctuary, that's a good one to get. Yeah, a lot of Alter Guys cards, but you need hair even. It's been a while since I've seen some of those cards. Twin Twisters, probably the best super rare I got, obviously. I mean, it's just a card that is just really great, and uh, it's still like one of the best super rares out there, one of the pricier ones too. So that was pretty good. I think that was the one where I actually said, you know, can we get Twin Twisters? And it happened. So that worked out very well for me. Even got a Noble Knight Gwen. Let's see, more number monsters. Yeah, we got quite a few number monsters, actually. Number Hunters kind of helps out with that, though. Then, of course, for our Ultra Rares. Whoop, if I can pick all of them up. Here we are. Okay, so starting off with probably the card that made me the happiest to get out of the Ultra Rares. That is the Archie Black Skull Dragon, because that's just one of my favorite cards, and it looks so awesome. That was from a weird pack, too. Even Levier, that's one of the best Ultra Rares out there. One of the best ones came out for uh, Zexel. One of the Quacky Mirrors, another number of Force, Mirror Force. That was another one that is just awesome to get. That's always going to be awesome to get. Broken Line and even Arrival Rivals. It was like the only, I think, high rarity card we got from Circuit Break. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing too crazy from Circuit Break, really. I mean, I, I guess we got Broken Line as well, but I, I like Rival Rivals a little bit better just because of the name. 
Then, of course, for our ultimate rares, which, yeah, I've just kind of kept all these cards over to the side for now. I definitely need to sleeve these up because this is the card that made the opening for me, obviously. I mean, an ultimate rare, a Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the, of the End. I almost said beginning. No, he's not Black Luster Soldier. So, Envoy of the End. That is just so cool looking, and I'm really happy I got that one. So... Yeah, uh, I, that was the one that made my day. But we also, too, got a uh, number C39 Utopia Ray, as well as uh, number 25 Force Focus. So we actually got these one after the other, too. So getting three ultimate rares, that's really awesome. And then, of course, for our secret rares, where you're not guaranteed secret rares, so not like number hunters and stuff. So we ended, actually, the random pack opening with this one, or it was one of the, the last packs we've opened up, where it had uh, Brother Firefest Coyote, then, of course, Card Blocker, and then we even got Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Getting that from his actual pack was pretty awesome, too, to get Blue Eyes like that. So, yeah, there we go. That's a recap of everything. So, of course, let me know down in the, the comments and also by hitting that like button if you want to see more random pack openings in the future. And, uh, yeah, I do plan to try to do more of these. Uh, I'm just going to have to wait and try to gather up some good packs. I want to try to get a little bit more variety on older packs, especially like GX and the original series, if I can. And even 5Ds is considered old now, too. So I want to try to get a little bit extra uh, 5Ds packs as well. But it'll, it'll take a little bit for me to round those packs up. But like I said, if you guys want to see more of them, let me know by, uh, you know, just by watching them and that kind of stuff. Stuff too. Also, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, and of course ring that bell so you don't miss out either, so YouTube will actually notify you. Thank you guys for watching, though. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting this series and my channel, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya!